guys, and welcome back to Surviving Mars! We are currently in the middle of nowhere, trying to scrape an absolute subsistence living from the very grey, red, and horrible coloured dirts that we have around us. Many, many different colours around us. I thought it was all just going to be red up here, but it turns out we're going to have black and grey as well. Crazy. Last time we managed to get ourselves 12 new colonists on board. These guys are going to be the guys that come around and make this place work. I was then going to hire a whole bunch of other guys to get the, uh, the engineers and the geologists on board, but it turns out no. I'm not allowed to get anybody else on board until we get 10 days have passed. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, this means that I've got a few uh, problems here, as well as some actual problems that I've just noticed. Let's let's fix these quickly. I noticed that we are running out of a power up here, or running without power up here. If I just do uh, one of those, and then maybe oh look, it connected almost straight up to the base like that. And then maybe one of these like uh, this. Yeah, that that works out pretty well there. Let's have a quick look at the power. Okay, we're producing 92, and we have a demand of 75. That is pretty good. Now the problem that I am facing right here is this hydroponic farm. It's not being made, man. It's not being made. It's because we're short of polymers, and uh, thankfully, our polymer factory is currently stuffed. It's staffed by botanists, though. Not really the ideal people to be in there, but as I say, I was going to hire the engineers and the geologists after the they the botanist got here because I thought you know making food would be a good idea, um, and, and making food is a good idea. They're just not doing it because they'd rather make polymers. I mean, well, we needed the polymers to actually make the hydroponic farm, but still. Okay, select new crops. I'm going to go with wheatgrass because, it's, as it says, low yield but grows very fast. I think growing very fast is a, a good idea. Nice, nice, nice. Let's have a quick look around at the base. We're still making lots of concrete. Not really that bothered. Uh, well, I say we're making lots. We are full of concrete. Not that bothered that we are full and it is not turning over. One thing I am a little bit bothered by, the fact that it it needs polymers for maintenance. Now, thankfully, as I say, we've got the old polymer farm on the go over here. It's a production plant. It's not a farm. Uh, but let's see what it takes. It takes power, water, and fuel. That is exactly why I put it onto the water line here. And with the fuel all the way down here, just a short jaunt along the pipe, it should work out A-OK -okay for us. That, that, that talk has taken us like six hours, so that's pretty good. I think I'm just going to let it tick over for a little bit until I notice a problem. In fact, I think I might know a problem right now. If we look over here, like this pallet of concrete, that's full. We're expecting that to be full. That's fine. But the food is also full. And so is this transport. Let's just quickly offload uh, there. Um, we're also short of machine parts, but that, that's a thing to worry about later. The fact that the food pallets are full leads me to think that maybe we're not offloading this. Yeah, 39. Okay, so what I need to do is go to storages, food depot. Let's just throw a couple down there and see if they... Oh, yeah, look, there they go. Woof. Like a swarm, they are on their way. Now, building's not working. Would be a bit of a problem, apart from it's all this maintenance stuff. So as soon as the polymers turn over, that's taken care of. Founders in eight days, that's fine. We've got a, a breakthrough research. That's cool. I'm not sure which one exactly it was. One of your buildings is malfunction. Malfunction should be caused by a lack of maintenance or environmental hazards. Uh, they can be repaired by drones if they're required maintenance resources uh, in the area. Well, we're, we're working on that. We're working on that. Uh, resources are Okay, that's fine. Uh, the Asimov is ready for returning, though. Uh, carrying one... F no, that's the drone. Carrying two food. If we could just get those two food back, that'd be great. Okay, awesome. Uh, and we'll send the Asimov home. Has he? He's gathered some exports. I'm not that bothered, really. Honestly, I'm, I'm not that bothered about whether they gather Sector the exports scan. or not. Because we I'm use these down. to turn into some stuff at some point anyway. Okay, so... What's the next thing? It's just all making polymers. It's waiting for the polymers to get made Research so these guys complete. can do some repairs. We've got some initiatives up here turning over. So that's more uh, sponsor research that's pretty good what have we got crowdfunding not worried about that life from more 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 applicants no not worried about that scientists and botanists wait i have a 10 percent 
performance when working in their speciality. Let's grab that one because we're going to have that. Uh, Martian University. That could be a, a thing. Subsurface heating. Uh, extractor amplification. No, that, that cost, me money, uh, cost me power. We don't quite have that yet. Uh, battery optimization. So speaking about the lack of power. And that's put us already up to uh, the fifth queue. Yeah, so I'm going to let the uh, polymers build up. And I'll bring you back when we got some more things going down. <laughs> Finally, we have some surface water so far away, but we could use that to mine some more exports over here. Maybe have another one. Uh, this is an anomaly. We've got another mining section there. Hey, I hope you're not like running out of power. That would be pretty lame if you were. We could definitely do with getting you fixed up. Just trying to look around and see where some of the nice deposit deposits are. Now, this is a deep one, so that makes that a little bit awkward. Same with these being deep. That's a little bit awkward. I'm not really seeing anywhere to expand to right now Vehicle maybe we could go over there and start a uh, start a metals place up but no not not really feeling that vehicles with low power how low power that is pretty low power okay we'll have to try and do something about that maybe uh, just drag you over here for now yeah oh no war is the vital fluid with which sustains all life the human body requires a constant access to fresh drinkable water and quickly deteriorates when none is present <sighs> That's going to be trouble. That's going to be trouble. Uh, colonists with the dehydrated status first have no water and will die. Okay, let's uh, let's have a look. That's pretty. That's pretty terrible. Why have? Why aren't these doing enough? What's wrong? The, the problem going down is. Ooh, okay. So is it time? C can we get one back? That's the question. That is the question. So how do we how do we try and limit Thank this? You, Let's turn. Oh, we can't turn the polymer production off. That's no good. I uh, can't turn fuel production off either. Why are they not producing any more water? Or rather, where is taking more water? Does this tell me any water stats up here? Insufficient water. That's only 1.6. Maybe we do want to just hold up on this for a little. Water one. No, that's still not really what we're looking for one so that's one two three point mm, okay yeah that's already over that's much much over perhaps it's time to send out uh the drones let's 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 think about this let's do a little pause somewhere we've got spirit spirit my friend i need you to come over this way and start getting ready to extract this water we need we need to really set this up uh, what are we going to do? Is it, is it going to just be a great big long line? I think it is actually going to be just a great big long line. Uh, let's come down to life support pipes. Uh, there's going to be a lot of complaining about how the drones can't reach, but I think we can sort that out with our drone machine. Uh, something like that. Keep going. Not connected. That's fine i would like to zoom out a little bit and just try and get an idea of where i'm going yeah okay like that so let's go around there and just keep moving over uh blocking objects i would actually like to use those if at all possible i bet i just didn't bring any stuff did i uh so these are going to get a whole bunch of metal what do i need here to part put down the water extractor let's have a look it is six concrete two metal uh two machine parts so let's see what we can do about that transporter i need you to load this is going to be awkward uh control five to the uh, control click to load five let's get 20 and get a bunch of metals do we have machine parts that's a question do i have machine parts uh can you come over this way you if you could load resource from over here electronics i'm not seeing it i'm not seeing it are we actually when it says load does it mean we're out it does mean we're out okay so we're gonna have to get a resupply all right cargo a rocket do we want any prefabs i want some more moisture evaporators definitely we want four of those i'm also looking for that and that maybe a couple of sterling generators as well that and that being the machine parts factory and electronics factory so we can get our own production underway it seems pretty pretty good and tasty to me in the meantime let's get ourselves a bunch of machine parts a bunch of polymers do we want some more drones of course we do let's bring up five with us um RC Rover would probably be a good idea. Explorer, transport drones, concrete metals, food, polymers, machines. Okay, let's do a couple of orbits. Oh, there we go. Already 
too much. That's good. That's good. All right, brilliant. That that's ex exactly what we want. It's going to take a little while to get that in. Uh, let's scan. wait and see. Oh, we got a scan. That's nice. Let's wait and see what we got from these sorts of we scans. Have a water let's shortage. carry on. I, I I get it. We've got a water issue. I'm working on it. I really really am. Let's use this guy to kind of drive over and see what we can do about getting some of this piping put in place. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it without the transport drone. That is one of my concerns. I would, I would like to be able to. I would like to be able to. Oh, look, he's going to come down and do all this. I think maybe, yeah, just by running out with this guy, clicking a little bit at a time, we should be able to get the vast majority of this done. Let's get our little transport drone. Uh, he really needs to get some machine parts so we can finish off the entirety of what's going on. And, of course, that's a little way off. Oh, no, I'll, I'll bring you back when the, uh, when the cargo bay, the cargo craft, sorry, gets here. So I have a bunch of metal on the back of this little transport drone here. I want to Anomaly see what analyzed. happens. Oh, new tech uh, uh, analyzed. Nice. I want to see if I need to actually offload or whether these drones will just come and pick it Sector off the back. Scan. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. He's just going to come along and fix all these up for us. And that should get us in a good situation for connecting everything up. Oh, this guy was doing a scan. Let's see if there's any more that we can get. There are plenty more. Uh, this one? Where, where do I want to go? Well, what do I want to do? Nice let's do this one eat. over here. That's probably good. We have produced some food. Nice. Let's go and have a look. It didn't actually take us there. That's a little bit of a shame. It does show that we did it. First Martian born. Hmm, I bet we can do that pretty good. Um, like we, we got a bunch of scientists. I'm sure if we just set them up with a way of uh, looking after their young, then something would happen. Uh, do we want to send this... I mean, where do we actually want to go? Like here? This this seems like a good place. No, I, I, I think not. Maybe there. That that will work for me. It's going to take a little while to come down. We've got that guy marked up and ready to go. Oh, we've missed one back there. Dude, if you can, come over here. That would be great. Uh, and you want to actually come back to here. If we could have you doing that, that would be pretty good. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the machine parts. Let's try and just load we've off of here. News. The RC Explorer investigating the anomaly accidentally released a pocket of high pressure oh no. gas. The carbon dioxide erupted, damaging the rover and listing tons of fine dust into the atmosphere, forming a dust devil. The red planet reminded us how dangerous alien life could be. <laughs> Expect fierce dust devils to form at the anomaly location. I mean, that's. That's a little bit. Oh no. I mean, uh, is it alright? You all right, Curiosity? Looks to be. Looks to be. It could have could have been much worse. Could have been much worse. Dust Devils, I don't think are going to be a big problem. I, I don't know. I've not really um, not really experienced them before. How are we low on metals? You lie. You very much lie. Uh, electronic... Uh, the machine parts, that's what I'm after. Let's pick them up over here. Machine parts. Okay, that's a good load of machine parts. Let's bring you over yonder. Ah, you are still looking for a bit of metal to do this, and then we'll uh, get that rolling over there. Do I want this RC Rover to be doing anything in particular? He's the new boy. Let's bring him down here, and he should be able to keep just the general upkeep of this place going. I mean, I suppose that is technically what this one's I'm for, and the RC honest. Rover should be uh, off and looking at other stuff. Look at this. The we got ourselves a whole a bunch of stuff that looks really nice. Now, what was the upgrade? That one no longer needs any uh, charging, so we'll have to see about that. Drone printing is also going to be pretty good. 3D machining, machine parts factory. Ah, oh, nice, nice. Ah, oh, so that's how to do it without having to send off to Earth for the prefab. That's not. Ah, oh, indeed, the pol Okay, well, we'll get that on there, and that one will be one of the next ones to go. So the polymer factory and the fuel refinery we can get built wherever and then of course we'll get the machine parts and then we're pretty much self-sustaining at that point right maybe yeah feel, feels good it feels good all right let's bring you over this way and i'll have a you as well let's get all these drones going pack them up and move them out mister we got stuff to do oh look i've got a uh got myself sector a, a, a sector scan to do that's pretty good. That's not a terrible setup over there. If there was some water close by, that would be pretty nice as well. Let's just set up a few around to see if we can 
find anything like that. Zoom back in and see what's going on over this way. Are we getting stuff built? No. Why aren't you getting built? Uh, clicking on the wrong thing. That, that would be good. Concrete and machine parts. Let's see. Come on, man. Let's do this. All right, there we go. Building a Let's new home on an alien world. That takes guts, to say the least. After all, Purpose is the strongest long-term driver. Since arriving on Mars, Daria and, and Ivana's uh, enthusiasm has proven to be above average, even by founder norms, and the prodigious productivity display can be boiled down to one simple explanation. She really loves doing what she loves doing. Has the enthusiast trait. Nice, that's the spirit. I'll just go with that. Nice, good work. Good work. Uh, that's getting built as well. Power. Are we going to give this its own power system? I think we might. I think we might. Let's uh, have a look and see what it demands. Five. What can we do to make a power of five? I've got a couple of sterling generators. I think one of these would be a good... Does it say what it, what it produces? Do we, do we see what it produces? Base production, 10. We can push it up to 20 by being wide. Uh, is there anything else we could do up here that would benefit having a sterling generator no okay so what about the large solar panel what do you make you make five uh what about a small one two so if we have one and this and then have a power accumulator now i know that's a lot more stuff but it saves the sterling generator for somewhere more more useful if you see uh, so let's go for one of those uh, a small solar panel a large solar panel a power accumulator maybe two we'll see uh, and then, of course, the stop, stop giving them commands. And then, of course, a power cable. Like so. That should go work. Um, probably going to be missing some polymers, right? That's, that's going to be the problem here. Can I... Let's have a look. Let's see what we're missing. It's just metals for solar. It is indeed two polymers for the power accumulator so let's come on over here there's got to be somewhere we can pick some polymers up right uh, like here I'd, I'd really like to get a polymer out of that if at all possible hello hi how's it going uh, let's bring you over so I'm just putting down a quick metals depot so these guys can tidy up the area around here because there are a lot of metals, a lot of metals that we could probably do with shipping over. And of course I will be using the transport to do so, curiosity, no, opportunity, sorry, I'll, I'll get it right one day. But we're waiting for some polymers to get made from here. Man, we're only making half a polymer a day. That's that's pretty painful, but we are nearly uh, through uh, the 10 souls so we can start getting more guys back. Ah, the, the dehydration is a big issue and I really want to be able to sort this out. Really do. Uh, the problem is that these guys all require polymer for their maintenance and we need to get, oh gosh, look at that. Yeah, we, we need to get on top of that very much. So I've connected up the pipe and dawn is coming, so hopefully the power, the power will start to flow. Now this is only a temporary solution, but hopefully if we're producing 7.3 and our demand is uh, 3.6, or oh, it went up and then back down, we'll have to see what it's actually doing. Our 3.6 demand is ridiculous. Dunculous. Uh, but that should hopefully lead to some water getting stored during the day. We've got ourselves a bit of a power outage here. No, it's actually a lack of metal. Yeah, whatever, mate. Okay, let's see if we can do something about that. I'm just going to offload everything. I think that's probably a good idea. I'm probably carrying far too much like concrete or something silly like that. Uh, if everything can just go... Yeah, there goes all the metal. So it turns out we were having metal Sector problems scan. here. Kind of funny kind of funny unload the resource like i can't do it without a target that's is am i just just full of stuff now am i not able to do anything with it yeah i got I'm just i'm just carrying 11 concrete now that that's my life that's my life uh so what we need to do is load all these resources up yes indeed all the metal and we'll try and do something about that healthcare buildings will increase the health and sanity of colonists i, I kind of had an infirm uh, did, did we not have an infirmary infirmary was something i meant to put down no, it turns out i did not but it's not the end of the world i think we can hold on to it for now at least until the end of a day one especially uh, sorry the end of day 10 especially with all the water flowing now yeah that's pretty good pretty good and the adamov is going home now are these uh 
bunch of drones here now transferred over 21 yes look at that they really are transferred over to drone control that's nice I, I was worrying about whether that would be a thing or not and it turns out it is we've got less than two two days to go on this so we're doing okay we've got water being produced during the day i've just noticed that the uh, the rock output is not the best so let's try and put this somewhere nice and a tidy a storage if we can a dumping site just there Right, go. Sector scanned. Thank you for the sector scan, but I'm just wanting to see that these drones are doing everything they're supposed to be doing. Okay, that's good. Buildings not working. Uh, concrete factories, that's fine. Uh, I suppose that's all we really need to do for a little bit. And I'll call you back when we have got more going. Oh, I'm really looking forward to actually what's seeing what's going on down here. So as we come into night time, we've got nearly full tanks of water around. So hopefully this should have solved our dehydration issue. We seem to be producing a fair amount of food now. So that's going quite well. At least we're not running out over here. Uh, maybe let's take a note of how much we've got. 30 bits of food plus whatever's here. But we'll, we'll keep a note on 30 bits of food. As long as it stays somewhere Research around complete. that, maybe go it up a little bit, then that would be great. We've got drone printing. Mm -mm -mm. That seems like a good one to have. Uh, we said we were going to get the robotics factory, not the robotics factory, the machine parts factory set up. Drone printing, hey, where do we set that up? Let's have a look. It's going to be in one of these productions. Drone assembler. Mm, too far from domes. Okay, Funding so it's... Oh, is it a making around the... The domes. It's a it's a person job. Okay. Well, we won't be doing that exactly now. Uh, rare metals export. We've got 150 million. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I'm not sure what to do about these. Uh, there's still there's still stuff to be got. There's still stuff to be got. So I'm not sure. Oh, look at that. We've got two completely full dumping grounds here. I'm not sure what to do with this rock. I'm hoping at some point there is something we can do. But right now it's just waste rock. The first colonists are all gamblers coming to Mars. All gamblers. It's the ultimate roll of the dice. They have traveled through 50 million miles to a rocky, inhospitable, in, inhospitable? Yes, you got me. Inhospitable world to try and blend into, bend it to humanity's will. Uh, Veer Gandhi, on the other hand, seems to be a gambler in the more traditional sense. Oh, I'm not not sure about getting the gambler trait. Let's let's have a look. What what does that give this you? Um, can we see anywhere? History. Long-term dream. Uh, oh, cool. Looks like we did a thing. Long-term dream of human civilization as a whole to settle another world has come true. To be among the people who made this happen makes me feel enthusiastic and proud. We are already swarmed with applicants for relocation on Mars, and the wanderlust and the enthusiasm of these people makes me proud to be a human being. The red planet continues to be inhospitable and even dangerous, but we as a species have always displayed the ability to adapt and improve. The adverse conditions will only make us try harder, so I say bring it on. The colony has been evaluated positively. Additional colonists can now be called. All right. And with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time when we're going to expand our colony, worry about water problems, try and get ourselves self-sustaining when it comes to machine parts and uh, polymers. And there was another one as well, but I cannot remember that. Uh, electronics, that, those are the things. So we're going to be a self-sustaining community at some point. So I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!